video, I thought that I would show y'all my updated skincare routine. Um, yeah, I just thought about it. I was just going to do my face, but I guess I can do like my whole body. And I have this because I was making another video after this one and I like the sound that this makes. I was going to, um, brush your face, brush how to make up off your face, and then do my skincare routine on your face, but yeah, and I knew I was going to talk for a while, so I wanted something to tap on while I was talking, so, um, good morning, y'all, um, I don't know if you all can tell, but my skin is doing a whole lot better than it was um, a few months ago. It is clearing up. Um, it's not completely clear, but it has definitely cleared up um, tremendously. And yeah, today I'm just going to share with y'all like basically what goes on with my skin and how I fixed it. So, or how I'm in the process of fixing it. So basically, um, I haven't been like, you know, officially diagnosed yet, but I feel like I have like a hormonal imbalance where I produce like a lot of facial hair. With that being said, like, that's why like, I haven't been officially diagnosed yet, but yeah, I grow a lot of facial hair and I noticed it would act up a lot if I was eating dairy, like a lot of dairy products. So when I cut back on eating dairy products, that was one thing. Okay, so for two, y'all know I have to have an actual face washing routine, but just as like, you know, some other stuff, I've been eating, you know, healthier. I've been drinking a lot of water. Um, I really haven't been drinking a lot of sugary, sugary drinks. If I drink, like, a sugary drink, it's a Gatorade. I have a lot of Gatorade. And, yeah, I've been being, like, active and stuff so I can sweat. And I'm actually on a skincare routine. So, that's the thing you have to... Don't limit it to just washing your face. Like, it's a lifestyle. And you have to have a skincare routine that works for you. Okay. Let's get started. Okay, hey y'all. So the um, lighting, audio, everything is probably different. I know my hair is different. Um, it's nighttime now. I filmed that earlier today, but I've been editing and stuff. And y'all, oh my goodness. I deleted like a huge chunk of the video and I deleted it from my recently deleted so I couldn't recover it so I have to try to edit it in right now so I am so sorry y'all but um the first thing I was really showing y'all was my skincare radiance um the, what a radiance skincare system and basically what it is it's just a spin brush and it comes with four different hair I actually have two I have one for travel that I keep like in my suitcase and I have one that I keep in my bathroom. Um, it has four interchangeable accessories. So it's like the exfoliation facial brush, the large body cleansing brush, the facial cleansing brush, and the pumice stone. So what I do is I take the um, facial exfoliating brush and the um, facial cleansing brush. And the exfoliating brush, I probably use that like every other day. But I wash my face. I try to wash my face twice a day, morning and night. And I use the... Um, the gentle cleansing one because the exfoliating one will real life leave your skin with some redness and stuff like that so yeah um that's important like i feel like a spin brush cleans your face way better than a, like just a regular washcloth and stuff like that because it's breaking the dirt up and stuff like that and then you sit up and you wash like you wipe it off and stuff so yeah i have a code for all of this stuff down below in my description box i'm actually um well, I used it earlier today. I wanted to go ahead and use it now because I'm supposed to be going out. Um, while this video is uploading, I'm going to be in the shower. I'm going to shave my little mustache. And, like, this stuff right here, like, it's really, like, a lot of hair and stuff. We make it kind of look like, um, 
you know it's more right there than what it really is like more dark spots right there than really what it is so i'm about to shave my face and i haven't shaved my face in like months i haven't shaved it since last year so yes um the next part is going to be talking about after i wash my face if it's a day where i do the um face facial brushes not the facial brushes the facial scrub or like a face mask then i will do a face mask which is going to be the next part of the video so y'all i'm so sorry once again i was moving too fast and i deleted the video by mistake and i couldn't recover it so i had to edit this part in and i hope you all enjoyed the video yeah that's why i was saying i was um shaving my, about to shave my face so i could take like the before and after pictures because yeah that's super important so i will see y'all at the end of the video <laughs> okay so yeah um i do a face scrub at least once a week or a face mask definitely a face scrub i definitely scrub my face and i'm gonna tell y'all why in the process but a face mask or a face scrub if i'm doing a regular scrub like I don't want to use any like product products like I just want to do like a every other day scrub because I exfoliate my face like every three days I'll use actual like honey and brown sugar but if I'm doing my once a week like actual facial scrub I'll use something now I'm not even gonna lie to y'all when I first used this facial scrub it did give me a little bit of bumps so use this at your own discretion I'm not gonna play with y'all about y'all skin because that's important so i don't really use this much i used this one time and seen it broke my skin out and yeah i didn't use it no more after that so then i started using this other stuff it's this minimal glow it's the turmeric face scrub and it smells really good and the thing about this y'all a little bit definitely goes a very 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 long way it smells good and this is what it looks like i probably used this like four times and still have a lot left like it looks like i just bought it and um when you use this definitely use this with either a white face cloth that you're going to use every time you use this or use a dark face cloth because it has turmeric in it and it stains so my skin really likes turmeric and it is a face scrub at the same time so like i said i have to exfoliate my face every three days because i'll explain it to y'all when i get there but um it's a face mask as well because you leave it on for 10 minutes and it's turmeric and my skin loves turmeric so yeah or let me tell y'all the other one that i just started using i've actually used this in my hair this did things to my hair that i've never been able to do to my hair the indian healing clay if y'all know then y'all know i'm not gonna do you know a whole in-depth video about all of this stuff because y'all can really look this stuff up i don't know why this stuff works for me it just <laughs> it just does um yeah so definitely this with apple cider vinegar it is drying it definitely does dry your face out but i don't want to say all face masks dry your face out but this definitely dries your face out um i put this on i'm probably gonna use this today um i put this on like once on my face really and i seen what it did it actually did really good but i was too lazy to do it again after that but i'm definitely going to use it again like i said y'all it did wonders to my hair like my curls my natural curls were hydrated defined soft like it made oh my goodness yeah like it made me really like want to cut that my dead ends off and just rock my natural like curls but it was like it was gonna be uneven as well so it's just like nah but this really does give you confidence with your hair and your skin yes okay so after i've washed my face i've washed my face if i decide to do a face mask then i'll do a face mask after i've washed the face mask off let my face dry i put on this Tan skin solution, and I also have this little um, container right here, and it has some cotton pads in it. And I just use this for travel, yeah. So I'll put some of this 
on a cotton pad and rub it on my I actually put this on my face, my neck, my chest. Um, everywhere I get waxed, under my arms, my belly, my bikini area, like all of that because this is for ingrown hairs, razor bumps, shaving, and waxing. This stuff is like, um, you know how you put on alcohol or like witch hazel or something after you get a wax or after just any kind of hair removal? This stuff is awesome, y'all. Like, I don't have any kind of redness. Um, so the thing with of course, me having, like, ingrown hairs and stuff, it'll cause, like, bumps, irritation, da, 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 all of that stuff. This makes it flat, like, flat, like, flat. Not even gonna lie. So, y'all see how, like, this right here is dark? This right here and all of that? Last night, last night, y'all, this was a few hours ago, I was picking at my face with the tweezers and was getting the ingrown hairs out. Put some of this on, y'all, this morning. It don't look like I was digging in my face last night. Because everything is flat. Flat. So, I feel like it dries out the, um, you know, the, the area, the bump. And it makes it flat. So, yeah. Y'all, even if you don't, like, have skin problems and you get waxed and stuff, definitely put this on your bikini area. This does the job. Now... This paired with this. Y'all, oh my god. Okay, so I don't know if y'all know what this is. This right here is really what's been helping me out a lot. And I'm almost out. I'm actually, it sounds like I'm actually like right here or something. I'm almost out. But this is the PFB Vanish. I don't know if I told y'all what the name of this was. But it's thin skin. I think I did. But yeah. Um, you can get this online. I'm actually gonna link all this stuff down below. Um, PFB Vanish. Y'all, this is like a gentle chemical exfoliator. This is why I have to exfoliate every like my body every other day. My face every like three days. So this is a gentle chemical exfoliator um this is the one with chroma bright and what chroma bright does is it like it's the dark spots in your face so um well basically what it is it's like a roll on you see the liquid on there and you just swipe it it's like you don't just sit there and put a lot on you swipe it across your face i put and you can use it as deodorant, y'all. I've been using this as deodorant. I haven't used, like, Secret or none of that, like, as deodorant. And when I don't have hair under my arms, y'all can see, like, under my arms have gotten lighter. Um, and I also, I'll put, like, when my tin skin dries, I'll swipe this on my bikini area. Bikini area, not, you know where, just, like, on the sides where, like, if you're wearing a bikini, what would show. And, um probably on my like the mound and on my stomach like where hair grows up my stomach and I get waxed and of course like I said under my arms as deodorant because you can use this as deodorant but don't use regular deodorant when you're using this okay so basically like I said this is a gentle chemical exfoliator and it makes it don't it makes your skin i don't want to say it makes it peel it makes your skin flake off like that's why i say it's gentle because like you know when people get like the chemical exfoliators and they um they skin they walk around with their skin peeling technically your skin is peeling but it's just in little flakes like if i sit here and rub my skin right now you could see you like i don't know if you can see it right now but you see like the little y'all see little flakes and stuff around my dark spots like coming up that's because of this so it's like you have to exfoliate so your your new skin can come out and it, this has really helped me out a lot y'all and you're really not supposed to put this on after hair removal because it's gonna burn this in the tin skin is gonna burn um so be super careful with that. After I get waxed, I put it on the day after I get waxed. I don't do it the same day. Like I don't the only thing I'll do after I get waxed is take a shower. Like I don't I don't submerge in water. I don't do no you know, I don't do 
that. I don't, none of that. You leave it alone, let it rest, give it a break. The next day, you start your upkeep, okay? So, after I've done all of that, put all of that stuff on my face, and it's time to put in the moisture in my face. So, as for moisture, I use, okay, so this actually is from Mix Easy as well. The Vitamin C Serum, not even gonna lie, this stuff is really, really good. Vitamin C Serum um, is good for your face. It brightens it, it, you know, helps correct any imperfections and all of that good stuff. So, yeah. Um, so, what it looks like. Um, I will use this, and I've also been using African Shea Butter just a little bit, not like a lot. I literally just like swipe a little bit with my nail and melt it in my hand and wipe it on my hands. But I'll use this. I really love using this, but the thing about this is I'm not even going to let them get y'all. I got to find it so I can show y'all. This actually only comes with not a lot i can't show y'all i think like it's only this much like this is how big the thing is it's crazy i peeped that but yeah if you want to get it then i definitely would recommend it but yeah y'all i didn't really try me with that i felt like but whatever so basically i put that on with my what is this? I want to call this a jade roller so bad. This is a rose quartz roller because my first one was a jade roller. Matter of fact, it's right here. My first one was a jade roller, but obviously I don't use it anymore. It's rusted and disgusted. I was really just keeping it for a decoration in my bathroom, but it has to go. And everything in my bathroom is pink anyway, so yeah. And she comes with a beautiful carrying case. And it's pink and it's soft and y'all know I had to have it yeah this is from mix easy as well like I said I will be leaving the links for this down below and I will be inserting my discount code so you get some money off so yeah I use this to evenly distribute my vitamin C serum on my face and so I guess shape my face to be honest y'all. I really just be using this because it, it evenly distributes the oil. You can easily use your fingers. But I feel like this is just skincare. <laughs> because it's rose quartz. You know you rub rose quartz on your face. So if you're into metaphysics and you carry crystals around. Then I would definitely recommend you using that. So yeah, basically that is my full um, face routine. I actually have a face cream from Mix Easy as well. I will use this if I want to add some extra moisture to my face. But for the most part, I feel like I be having enough on my face because I be having the tan skin and the PFB vanish on it at the same time. And sometimes the PFB vanish leaves like a white like residue mark. So I be needing to put like some kind of moisture on my face to like swipe that white residue off. So I'll either use the Mix Easy Face Cream or the Vitamin C Serum. So yeah, that's it as far as my face goes. And y'all, as far as my skin goes, really hasn't anything changed. Let me get the stuff on my shower so I can show y'all. So okay, y'all. So I'll get in the shower. And I told y'all I will exfoliate my body like every other day because I use the PFB bandage on my bikini area. And I like um, exfoliate like, you know, my my whole body as well. And I use brown sugar and honey. So when I'm in the shower, I take a shower. Y'all know I don't use um, face cloths unless it's on my face and my intimate areas. I use two different face cloths for that. Um, oh yeah, that was another thing I had got out to show y'all. So I use like a color, I have color and I have white face cloths. I use a colored face cloth for my intimate areas and I use a white face cloth for my face and I just hang them in my shower and use them for like a week or so and then I put in dirty clothes and switch them out. So 
I use a sponge. I have a lot of sponges like this hanging up because I'll travel with one or, you know, I just like switching them out and I change these like every month and they have to be like kinds that exfoliate and not those super soft kinds that just make bubbles. And as for my soap, I love the Rose Hemp um, Dr. Bronner Syrup Soap. And it just so happens it's pink, so it matches everything in my bathroom, which is great. All of my skincare still matches now that I'm looking at it. Um, hair removal, I only near my legs. I get everything else waxed. Um, my facial hair, like I said, I'll um, plug it off. Or if I'm like in a rush, I'll use a razor, but I don't really like using razors. But I'll near my legs. This is my favorite kind of near, the softening baby oil. And if I have to nail my legs, I'll nail them once a week because it just ain't nothing to do to me for my legs to be just hairless, like super hairless. And this is just for like special occasion, like if I'm going to go chill, um, you know, and if I'm about to like go out and you know, I just want to smell extra good, then I'll put this on top of after I bathe. This is Dove Exfoliating Body Polish, and this is in pomegranate seeds and shea butter. I got a free sample of this in the mail, like, years ago when I used to live with my mom, like, in, in another house. And, yeah, I, lo I love the smell of this, but I can't use this every day because... Mm -mm. I mean, I just don't see the point of using it every day. Like, it really doesn't exfoliate for real, but I just feel like it gives you an extra good smell, so... Yeah, and that's pretty much it as far as my skin care routine goes. Um, I'm actually about to wash my face now. I might actually also recommend you getting a really cute headband or something, like a hairband or something for you to tie your hair back with so you don't get your edges and stuff wet because, yeah, um, that can really like ruin your day. You're trying to wash your face and stuff and your edges mess up and your baby hairs mess up as you did them so yeah that is what i would recommend mine got avocados on it and like a cute little cat but yeah i hope y'all enjoyed this video it's super long but y'all deserve it for real because um this is important y'all like really really do this i know i'm really not taking like a serious authoritative tone with y'all but drink your water get active get on a skincare routine that works well for you if you gotta go to a dermatologist please go to a dermatologist because i am not a dermatologist i'm just letting y'all know what works well for me Okay, thank you. So I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.